Section 3.1 Product and Quotient Rules. In this section, we will use the product rule and its various forms to differentiate a function and find the derivative of a rational function using the quotient rule. Let's look at the product rule. If f of x and gx are differentiable functions and y equals fx times gx, then the derivative of y with respect to x is the product of the function f and the g prime plus the product of the g times the derivative of the f. If you noted f of x as a u and the g as a v, the derivative of the y or the derivative of the product of u and v would be u times v prime plus v times u prime. Or we can say the derivative of the product of two functions is equal to the first function times the derivative of the second plus the second function times the derivative of the first, the first function. In other forms of the product rule, for y equals fx times gx, then the dy by dx is the f of x times the derivative of the function g plus the gx times the derivative of the function f. Or use the notation that is easier to write, which is y prime equals f times g prime plus g times f prime. Or the case that f is in terms of u times v, or the function is it's the product of the function u and function v, the y prime would be u times v prime plus v times u prime. Another forms of the product rule, the derivative can be used the notation d subscript x as the derivative of the quantity in the bracket with respect to x, or x is the independent variable. Example one, use the product rule to find dy by dx given y equals the quantity x squared plus 3x minus 1 times the quantity x to the third minus 8x. So I'm going to use the first, the I'm going to use the notation u to represent the first function and notation v for the second function. Therefore, my y prime or dy by dx using the product rule will be u times v prime plus v times u prime. In our case, the u is x squared plus 3x minus 1. Therefore, the u prime will be 2x minus uh, plus 3. And the v is x to the third minus 8x. Therefore, the v prime is 3x to the second minus 8. And then substitute the u, u prime, v, v prime into the product rule formula. The u is the quantity x squared plus 3x minus 1 multiplied by v prime, which is 3x squared minus 8 plus the v or x to the third minus 8x multiplied by u prime or 2x plus 3. And after that, we can simplify the expression. So x squared times 3x squared, we get 3x to the fourth. x squared times negative 8 minus 8x squared. Next, 3x times 3x squared, we get 9x to the third. 3x times negative 8 gives us negative 24x. And next, negative 1 multiplied by 3x squared gives us negative 3x squared. And the negative 1 times negative 8 gives us positive 8. And do the same way for the second product. x to the third times 2x gives us 2x to the fourth x to the third times 3 plus 3x to the third, negative 8x times 2x, negative 16x squared. And the last product, negative 8x times 3 
gives us negative quantity for x. And then we collect like terms. 3x to the fourth, 2x to the fourth gives us 5x to the fourth. And next for the power 3, 9x to the third plus 3x to the third becomes plus 12x to the third. Next one, the power 2, negative 8x squared, negative 3x to the second, and negative in x squared will give us negative 27x squared. Next, the power 1, negative 24x, and negative 24x gives us negative 48x, and then the constant plus 8 as a result of the derivative of the y with respect to x using the product rule. Next example, use the product rule to find the derivative of the function fx equals the square root x plus x to the negative first times x squared plus one. In this case, we have the square root two. We could write it as the power form. It becomes x to the power one half plus x to the negative first multiplied by x squared plus one. To use the product rule, I will give the notation u to represent x to the one half plus x to the negative first and the v to represent the quantity x squared plus one. By the formula uh, for the product rule, dy by dx equals u times v prime plus v times u prime. Therefore, if u is x to the one half plus x to the negative first, the u prime followed by the, the power rule will give us u prime as one half x to the negative one half minus x to the negative second and the v is x squared plus one. The v prime is two x plus zero or two x. And then substitute the u, v, u prime, v prime into the product rule. So dy by dx equals the quantity u, which is x to the one half plus x to the negative one, multiplied by v prime or two x plus the v or x squared plus one times u prime, which is one half x to the negative one half minus x to the negative second. And then we simplify by multiplying two x to those two terms for the first product and distribute x squared plus one to the second group for the second term. So two x times x to the one half becomes two x to the three over two, and two x times x to the negative first becomes positive two. The second product, x squared times one half x to the negative one half gives us one half x to the three over two. X squared times negative x to the negative second becomes negative one. One times one half x to the negative one half gives us one half x to the negative one half. One times negative x to the negative second gives us negative x to the negative second. And then we combine like terms. The two times x to the three halves and one half times x to the three halves becomes five over two x to the power three halves. And then two minus one becomes plus one added by one half x to the negative one half minus x to the negative second as the result. It is appropriate to rewrite the negative power into the positive power. So the solution is equivalent to five over two x to the three over two plus one plus one half times one over x to the one half, which is the same as the square root x minus one over x to the second. And also x to the three halves is the same as square root two, the uh, square root of x to the third or x times square root x. 